anybody who you still want to collab with. I also just read, is this true that you and Zendaya and Kehlani were almost in a band together? Would you collab with them now or is there anybody <laughs> that else be, you want to collab with? That would be crazy. Yeah, me and Kehlani were in a group and, and Zendaya was around at the time and she was going to be at the group. But uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? I mean, they're really powerful, dope women and, and we all came up from the Bay Area. So maybe we got to do something from, from the Bay. Who knows? Okay. Anybody who's on your list to work with next then? Oh man, I mean, it's tons of artists and Stevie Wonder is number one. I got to work with Stevie Wonder. But I mean, there's there's so many dope R&B artists that I want to work with. And Khaled was on that list and I and I did that. And Migos was on that list. So we're just, we're just crossing them off one at a time. We can't wait to watch you. What can we expect? Describe what this show is going to be like. I cannot give away too much. All I can say is it's going to be a lot of energy and it's going to be kind of musical at the same time. And of course, me collaborating with DJ Khaled and the Migos, it's something you've never seen before. And um, I think it's, it's going to be one of the first times that you've seen, you know, this many artists on, on stage together. So I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, an incredible, I can't even call it a trio because, yeah, it's a group of you. <laughs> yeah. What was it like to get that call to collab? Because DJ Khaled is also known for, like, he gets the biggest people. He has the coolest collaborations. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, I was in Miami and he was like, hey, come to my house. And he had the chef going. It was, a, the, the hospitality was crazy. So we go to his studio and he plays a bit of the record and it wasn't even completed yet. Um, but we, he played a bit of it and I was like, nah, this is this is one of those ones. And, and and when he knows he got one, like he he really got one. So I, I totally trusted him. And when I heard the record, I was I was blown away. So yeah, here we are, you know, um, at the Billboard Awards performing it. I'm, I'm really excited. Of oh, he's a hit maker. But wait, exactly. now I have to know what's on the menu at DJ Khaled's house. We had some, I don't even know how to describe it. He, I don't know, the chef just do, does a, a mixture of things, but uh, I think we had like an Asian food that night. It was really, really good. He's over the top in every way. In every way. Everything's <laughs> a movie. Um, so it has been just a crazy time for you, nonstop, award after award. Where do you keep all these awards? <laughs> I'm actually trying to find a um, more shelf space because I'm, I'm running out of space, which is a great problem to have. But um, as of now, my Grammys are on a shelf and my Oscars on my kitchen counter. So we're gonna we're gonna build build some a situation uh, soon so that Wait, I, I the I Oscars the, the Oscars next to the blender and and the Keurig. What do you mean it's on your <laughs> kitchen counter? Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's safe, you know, and I can see it every day. So it's almost like motivation, you know. Oh, I love that. Okay, cool. So yeah, what do you think? I mean, you're going to have billboard awards. You're going to have everything. Do we need a room? What's your dream for a place Ooh, for all these statues? A room? That, that's a lot. I don't know. I got to put it somewhere where everybody can see it when they come to my house. So I'll figure out where that is. And, I, and I'll, I'll make sure I, I show you a picture when it's done. Okay, you'll be the first <laughs> to see it. Well, thank you. I mean, <laughs> but I love that you are feeling that sense of accomplishment because you deserve it. I mean, you're 23, right? And at yeah. 23, halfway to it being an EGOT, are, are you gonna hit up Broadway anytime to get that Tony? Would you, could we ever see you on stage? I just might, you know, I have some some ambitions too. I, I think I think you might see me me doing that, but thank you. I'm, I'm trying to celebrate it as much as I can and take it all in, but I'm also one of those people who's like, on to the next thing. I'm like, all right, let's get this Oscar, you know, let's get this Emmy, let's get this Tony and, and, and you know, take it to the moon. Okay, uh, this sounds like you've actually thought about it a little bit. What could we see you doing? Writing a musical, doing something on stage, what? I think you could see all of it. You know, I'm big, I, 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 I wanna score films, I wanna write a musical, I, I wanna act in a musical. So you could see it in many different ways. So we'll see. Um, do you have any pre-show rituals that you do before something like performing at Billboard? Um, one of the biggest things is like just getting in a vibe like I'll light like a candle I'm with my team and and of course we pray But I also just kind of sit in silence and get myself hype and then the energy comes as I'm like walking to the stage And that's usually what it is and, and that's that's kind of me I'll relax and then turn it up 